हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर तनवय विश्वास आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन माय चैनल तनवर के टुडे टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज वन एम सी द क्वेश्चन इज इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू आई रिक्वेस्ट यू प्लीज पॉज द वीडियो ट्राई बाय योर सेल्फ एंड व्हाट एवर आंसर यू गेट प्लीज राइट इन द कमेंट बॉक्स अलॉन्ग विथ फ्यू वर्ड्स एज एक्सप्लेनेशन आई बिलीव यू हैव ट्राइड सो लेट्स स्टार्ट नाउ द क्वेश्चन इज विच ऑफ द मॉलिक्यूल इज एक्चुअली द मोस्ट प्रोबेबल प्रोडक्ट ऑफ दिस रिएक्शन ओके सो फोर ऑप्शंस आर प्रोवाइडेड इफ यू लुक एट दिस मॉलिक्यूल कंडीशन रिएक्शन कंडीशन it is one equivalent bromine is given solvent is chloroform temperature is minus 55 degree centigrade so you can expect that milder reaction condition and which reaction is expected to occur on milder condition that is a selective reaction before going to details we need to know little bit about this molecule this molecule name is cyclo because it's a ring compound octa eight carbon there tetra actually four double bonds are there that's why tetra in cyclo octatetraene or in short oct now generally we have a misconception that this molecule is anti aromatic it is not true because according to huckel rule if you think it's anti aromatic because every adjacent carbon is sp2 aromatized so okay according to huckel's rule condition they say okay cyclic they say planar third conjugated and fourth four n number of pi electron which is the condition for aromaticity and here in value is actually 2 but student it is not that why because anti aromaticity means extremely unstabilization and nobody want to be unstable even this molecule also so in order to bypass or avoid that unstability what this molecule does this molecule removes the option planar and conjugated so since it's not planar it deviates out of planarity that's why it is not conjugated so it is not at all anti aromatic this molecule is actually non aromatic okay so you can consider this cot molecules double bonds are isolated alkene they are not in conjugation and this thing could be understand more well by watching this structure this is actually a board structure you can see all the double bonds these 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 are not in plane so they are not in conjugation and this is further proved by the bond distance value look at this carbon carbon bond this distance is 1.46 whereas this carbon carbon double bond is actually 1.33 generally for carbon carbon single bond it is 1.54 angstrom and for carbon carbon double bond it is 1.33 angstrom so from there you can understand that this cc bond is actually a purely carbon carbon double bond of isolated alkene so if i ask you one question that what happens if you take an isolated alkene and react it with bromine so first thing it produces a bridge bromonium ion means this bromine act one part delta plus another part is delta minus this delta plus part act as electrophile and this double bond act as a nucleophile and it produces a bridge bromonium ion which is subsequently attacked by this another br minus to produce the product let me draw it here so here you can expect that there is a double bond so this and one double bond so let us con me consider here that this forms a bridge bromonium ion so fine now if you want to know further about this bridge bromonium ion i request you have already uploaded a dedicated lecture of halogenation of alkene you may visit you will learn more so you can expect that this bromine will at this double bond will attack here and this br will leave so first there will be a carbocation and subsequently that bromine will attack this carbocation by its lone pair of electron forming this three member ring and this is called bridge bromonium because bromine is carrying cation and this bromine is in between bridge between these two carbon that's why it's a bridge bromonium now there is actually a br minus so next step this br minus attack from the back side of any one of this cbr bond and op ring opening happen so what is expected you can expect that sir in this way it will result in a anti type product by the way i am not saying trans because cis trans thing applicable for alkene for alkene saturated analogs sin or anti term is utilized so you can expect okay so one part may be down another this br is up so they are anti together so one to dibromo but anti orientation fine so these will be the answer and since the condition is so much mild so selective reaction condition is expected no further rearrangement not possible here and since the double bonds are behaving as isolated double bonds so bromination will happen on isolated double bond and second thing i have already mentioned one equivalent of 
bromine. So one molecule means one double bond bromination means bromine addition is expected to occur no more further reaction. So here the question if I say why cyclooctatetron show non planar geometry I have explained in order to avoid the anti-aromaticity which is nothing but an unstabilization, unstabilization. So in this way the unstability is avoided. Next. So which one is the most probable product? Obviously 1, 2 dimer with anti-orientation opposite. So option A. If you look at option B it's a cis or thin. Okay. It's a thin which is better word. So this is not possible. By the way if you don't know this exact answer you can find out how. Bromine one equivalent and cot it is a anti aromatic sorry it is a non aromatic molecule not anti aromatic so consequently aromatic electrolytic substitution are not expected second thing here if you understand it's a non aromatic fine then you cannot expect that they are they are actually non conjugated since they are non conjugated so this allylic bromination so one four addition I'm talking one two three four 1, 4 addition cannot take place either it is in sin or anti. So option B not possible, D not possible, only 1, 2 addition possible. I mean option A and C and since bromine addition occurs in an anti orientation. So that's why these option A will be the major product. So this is the overall discussion. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye bye.